and 9-11 happened yeah. and <clears throat> I got really shaken from that experience because I was watched the whole thing and mm-hmm. not the whole thing but um, more than I would have liked to see and yeah. uh, have seen and um, and at that point I was you know I went through a period of thinking that really we might all just die you know mm-hmm. we we're waiting for plane more planes and blah 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 mm-hmm. so then after that I thought you know if I wanted to be Picasso it, you know no time like the present after all we might not be here next week so you know who cares you know if we can just do it um, so that gave me the green light to do that mm-hmm. um, and and to do it in my sort of take and to bring back the Granica message in full blast color I thought um, the thing about the Matisse approach was that it was my approach I mean some it has been printed in the press a lot mm-hmm. I said in the press a lot that it was the sort of Matisse colors okay maybe there were Matisse colors or more Sophie Matisse colors mm-hmm. more than Henri Matisse colors in my opinion so they were very heartfelt colors um, um, that I used and I was and I think at one point I tried to, you know, do well. What happens if Matisse had done it? But he wouldn't have ever done anything like that. So it was a, an impossible task. So I just went at it, just straight from the heart. So that's great. And you know, as we talked previously about being an artist of change, that's yeah. probably a really good example of kind yeah. of going out there a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was definitely stepping <laughs> out. <laughs> that's definitely. great. My father was a little surprised. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to attempt artistically, Sophie, that you haven't tried yet? Um, I can't tell you the answer to that question. I just, uh, each time I do something, it always provokes some other itch I can't scratch. So it's a constant searching. And um, I haven't been able to, to do a lot of work in the last year. Um, because of personal issues that came up in my life, but um, I'm dying to get back to the work and um, keep searching for whatever it is that keeps nagging, keeps pulling me further and further. So um, I wish I could answer the question more concretely, Mm. but uh, it's impossible. Okay, okay. How about any words of wisdom that you might be able to share with an up-and-coming artist that is just dying to be, you know, as, as acclaimed as yourself? Um, what would I say? Uh, I think there's a lot of artists today that are kind of distracted by being um, celebrity types. I think that's a, kind of an issue in this country that um, doesn't do anybody much good, uh, especially if you are... Uh, there are many types of artists, but if you really want to do the work, it's just a, a good idea not to focus too strongly on that and to really come from the inside out in terms of one's expression Mm -hmm. because um, I don't know there's many successful artists that are coming from all different places but I think follow your heart obviously everybody says that but Mm -hmm. um, they say it for a reason so that's what I would say too. Good and is there anyone that you admire in terms of artists that you really enjoy as you mentioned there's so many great Oh, there's there. so many. Yeah. That's a good question. This is like three billion names. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, how do I say all of that in one minute? Um, I don't know. I, I just think, you know, I mean, family artists have mm-hmm. really taken me a long way. I mean, Matisse mm-hmm. stayed very grounded in his art, and I think that's really important. And sometimes he just needed to go in the garden and <clears throat> paint a, a little flower or just a little... A branch with leaves on it and I think that's a beautiful way of staying grounded and close to one's um, inner voice and soul mm. so I think that's where I would like to um, keep my focus great great and tell me in the in the years to come uh, what's next for you do you think um, not so much enough but just what do you feel that's kind of next for you in this moment uh, in terms of as you move forward in your career? Um, that's a good question. I, I don't really know. I, it's a definitely um, a point of departure for me. I feel like um, there's going to be, um, you know, I, 
obviously continue painting on canvas, but I'd really like to paint on other objects as well, and not to be too confined by, you know, picture up on the wall type thing. I'd like to really um, just be completely free and paint on anything. Mm. Or just, just have the whole field open up for me, I would like to really just, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. <laughs> yeah, well, it, you know, you've got a great start with the different yeah. objects that you've actually worked yeah, with in designing. Yeah, and I yeah. think there'll probably be quite a few opportunities coming well, from that, yeah, too. Well, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, okay. definitely. Well, I don't have any questions, any more questions for you today, but I've just, I really have to tell you, you're just such a pleasure. So you're just such Thank a you. pleasure to interview and to get to know, and I'm just delighted that you're here for this wonderful international art exhibit. Yeah, I'm and excited, too. Thank you so much.